All right, so let's take a look at the 2023 uh, AP statistics free responses, question number three. Again, if there are any mistakes, I will put it in the comments below because the solutions are not available yet. They're not available until late, late summer. So bath fizzies are mineral tablets that dissolve and create bubbles when added to bath water. In order to increase sales, the fizzy bath companies produce a new line of bath fizzies out of cash prize in every bath fizzy. Let random variable x represent the dollar value of the cash prize in a bath fizzy. The probability distribution of x is shown in the table. Based on the probability, answer the following and show your work. Calculate the proportion of bath fizzies that contain one dollar. Okay, so you know that this distribution, so this is a probability mass function. What this is like a proportion, right? And it has to add up to 100%. So I would say I would do 1 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.01. And that's what I would enter in to figure out what is the proportion because they have to add up to, um, they are going to have to add up to one total. So that's 0 0.68. Um, because every, because like these are the only possibilities. There are no other possibilities, right? Like the probability distribution. Yeah, like they 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 told you everything. So zero point six eight. And um, if you want to say a justification, you would say the sum of all probabilities has to equal one. If you just want to be sure, sometimes I like to be a little bit sure. The scoring guidelines are sometimes a little bit like very picky on things. So just just in case someone is not super obvious. Uh, but this usually would be sufficient for it. Calculate the proportion of bath fizzies that contain at least $10. At least $10 means you include $10. It's like 10 or more. So I want these proportion, at least 10. So that's going to be, um, if you know, it's kind of, it's the probability that X greater than or equal to 10 is the probability notation. So then you would say 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 and that is going to be, uh, no, this can't be right. Is this 0 0.6, 0 0.68, 0 0.88, and then 0.9? Yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. I have it right. Okay, I, I trust my calculator. This is 0 0.12. Right, check my calculator. That's 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Okay, that's fine. We won't, we'll play it on the edge and not actually use my calculator, but you really should. Based on the probability distribution of X, calculate the probability that a randomly selected bath fizzy contains $100, given that it given that it contains at least $10. So when you do conditional probability, I like to think of it this way, because I think like rules are really important. So just to help you understand it, is the notation is the probability of A given B is the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. And I like to think about what that is. So in this case, that's the probability that it can that it is that x equals 100, assuming that x is greater than or equal to 10, okay? And that would be the probability that both x is equal to 100 and x is greater than or equal to 10, divided by just the probability that x is greater than or equal to 10, all right? So that's like, that's like how you want to remember it. I, this is like when I did a, a much more difficult like probability an analysis class in, in college, like a like an engineering statistics analysis, this kind of stuff is what got me through. So what is this event that it's 100 and it's greater than or equal to 10? Well, it's only 100 then at that point, right? Because like this event just means that it's 100 because 100 would be greater than or equal to 10. So that's 0 0.01 is that probability. And what's the probability that X is greater than or equal to 10? We just calculated that 0 0.12. So then that's going to be 0 0.0833, okay? All right, based on the probability distribution of X, calculate and interpret the expected value of the distribution, each cat's prize, and show your work. So the expected value of any random variable is always you take the probability times, the pro the, times that event. So you're gonna do $1 times, the, you're gonna do one, the value of the random variable times the probability. Okay, so uh, this is gonna be kind of annoying. So five times the probability, five dollars times the probability, it's two dollars plus uh, ten dollars that the times the probability, it's ten dollars. Oops, not plus. Gotta multiply. Probability x equals ten. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I said two here. This is five. I was thinking in my mind, like, oh, I was doing one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so then 20 times the prob you know, 20, what are the numbers? 20, 50, and 100. So it's 20 times the probability that x equals 20 plus 100 
times the probability x equals 100. Man, my working memory is so bad. I forgot about 50, right? So plus 50 times the probability of x equals 50. Okay, cool. So let's just multiply those out. So 1, so I'm going to do it up here just to make it easier. 1 times 0.68 plus 5 times 0 0.2 plus uh, 10 times 0 0.5. So I'm just doing the value times the probability plus 20 times 0 0.05 plus 50 times 0 0.01 plus 100 times 0, oops, that's 1,000, 100 times 0 0.01. So we're just going to use our calculator for that. That I will not try to do by hand. 0 0.05, and always double check as you're entering it in. It's really easy to mess these things up. I always like to sanity check 4.68. That probably sounds about right. Equals, let's just put that $4.68. Don't forget the units. You are measuring dollars, so it's expected value of x. What is x? x is the number of dollars. Okay. <clears throat> the fizzy bath company would like to sell bath fizzies in France with the currencies euros. Suppose the conversion rate from dollars to euros is $1.89 euros. Using your expected value part C, calculate the expected value in euros of the distribution in bath fizzy. So let's say z is the value in euro, value in euros. How is z related to x, well, you would take the dollar amount and you would multiply it by, you know, 0.89 euros per dollar, or it's going to be 0.89x. So the way to think of it is like if x were $1, then z should be times times that. So times 0.89. So expected value of z is just the expected value of 0.89x. And what's the rules for expected values is they just kind of pop out times the expected value of x. So that's 0 0.89 times $4.68. And that will tell us uh, 4, you know, 4 4.1, I don't know. I don't know if you should do all the decimal points. 1652 euros. Don't forget the units, okay? And that handles the probability one.